All right, here we go again. Geometry. Then I'm gonna do some compass construction work today. Uh, hopefully, we'll get through this one and a couple others really quick. So, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple short videos. All right. It's about two in the morning where I am while I'm doing this, so hopefully I don't make a mistake. I hope it's not two in the morning when you're uh, doing yours because if so, you should be in bed sleeping. I watch this at a decent hour. All right, here we go. So we're gonna copy a segment. So basically I wanna take this segment right here and I wanna just copy on another one just like it, okay? So that they're congruent. So we got four steps to do this. Okay, so first, you can see it says there, draw a longer segment. So I don't really know how long it is. It doesn't even have to go in the same direction. So nice and long. That's definitely longer than the first one, okay? Next, I take my compass and I measure AB. All right, so that's way too big. Oh, let me get that in there. So I put my pivot point, remember that pointy part right there? The part you can hurt yourself with. It's called the pivot point, and that's where you hold your compass, right down here by the pivot point. I'm gonna put that right on A or B, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put the pencil part on the other one, so I gotta crank this down a little. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, so, got my pencil right on A, got my compass right on B, okay, pivot point on B, pencil on A, something like that, all right? So, that's step two, measure A, B with your compass. All right, step three, from one endpoint, I need you to draw an arc on your new segment. Doesn't matter which endpoint you pick. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one, since it's right here. Remember, we hold our compass with one hand, put some pressure on that compass, and then just drag your compass, okay? Now, you can barely see that arc. It doesn't have to be really dark. I'll zoom in a little bit on it so you can see that it's there. Okay, see it? It doesn't have to be very dark. It's in pencil. You don't need to go back and forth over and over and over and over and over again just to make it dark. As long as I can see it, we're good. All right now, what happens is that from this point to any point on this arc is the exact same distance as we started with here. And since that includes that little point of intersection there, we're good. Okay, so step four, all you're gonna do is mark your endpoints. That was A, B. So I can't call it A and B, we might call it C, D, or X, Y, or whatever. Sometimes we actually do something like this. A was a little mark. That means A prime, and then B prime. All right. Basically what prime means is that it's related to A, All right. but it's the prime mark tells me it's different. Okay. So it came from A, it's related to A but it's a little bit different. It's not the exact same point, it's a different point. You could call it X, Y, or whatever. Now, here's what you need to understand, is that because you used your compass correctly, segment AB is congruent to segment A prime, B prime. When I, what I'm saying is A prime, okay? That's how you read it, A prime, okay? That's it for copying a segment. Now, I want to do a little bit more with this though. All right, so let me zoom back out. Okay, not too far. All right, so on this page, I have two segments here and I've labeled them X and Y. Okay, I want you to do that on your paper. Get out a ruler, all right, and draw one a little bit shorter, one a little bit longer, and I want you to label them X and Y. Okay, so pause if you need to, but get that done real quick, because here's what we're gonna do. We are going to construct a segment that is three times as long as X, okay? Three times as long as X. So the, the idea is the same. Remember step one, draw a longer segment. So I'm gonna draw a segment that is way too long, okay? So that's way too long, all right? Now I take my compass and I measure X. So pivot point, okay? My pencil's a little bit too wide, so I gotta crank it down a little bit. Turn that wheel, or whatever your compass is to change it. Some of yours changes a little faster than mine. Cranking that wheel takes a little bit of time. Alright, still a tiny bit too wide. Alright. That looks pretty good. Okay. Sorry, it keeps getting out of the picture. 
All right, so that looks pretty good, so that's x. Now, I went three times as long as x, so basically I went three x's. So just like before, we're gonna start at an endpoint, okay? Or you can start at this endpoint over here. Doesn't matter, I'll do that, just to be different than the last time. That is one x, all right? Once again, you can just barely see it. Now, right where that point of intersection happens, I'm gonna start my next one. I'm gonna draw another one. All right, well, that's two x's now. Now another one. Okay, that's three x's. Right, each of those is ex the exact same distance as that original x. So x, x, x. All right, total of three x's. I'll zoom in on that a little bit again so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, you see those x's there? See those little arcs? Arc is just part of a circle. All right, so I'm gonna call this, we won't call it x, y, because that gets confusing up there, p, Q. So P, Q, or if I put equals, I don't need the segments in the lower top, equals 3x. Three, 3x's. Three okay? We're going to do one more using those uh, x and y's again. So this time I'm going to construct a segment that is 2y minus x units long. 2y minus x units long. That minus is going to change things up a little bit. Okay, all right, here we go. So once again, start the same way. Draw a segment that you know is definitely too long. Okay, now this time I gotta start with a Y. I got two Y. So I'm gonna get my compass measured for Y. I definitely need to widen this up a bit. Okay, so I'm working on widening it up. All right, that look good yet? Nope, a little bit wider. Okay, that looks pretty good, okay? And once again, it doesn't matter which end you start at. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start at this end this time, the left end. Okay, so I need two y. So put right at the end point. Okay. Drag, that's my first y. From that point of intersection right there, hopefully you can see that little bit of a pencil mark. If not, I'll zoom in a little bit again. Okay, see that little bit of a pencil mark? Right there at that point of intersection right there. I'm gonna do my next y. Okay, so that's 2y. Okay, I'll zoom back out one more time. Okay, zoom out. All right, so from my starting point right here, that's y. That's another y, but now I have to do minus x. So think about minus. Remember way back when you used to first started learning this? Minus meant take away, all right? So we're taking away the x distance. So I gotta measure this one more time. Measure my x. Alright. Okay, now, if I want to take it away, all right, I did my 2y, okay, from here all the way out to here, but now I gotta take it away, so I gotta go back. So here's where 2y ended, but now I need to get rid of x. So my thing goes the opposite direction. Right, so you see that little arc there? I'll zoom in on all three arcs so you can kind of see how they are. And you can see that the one there for the x kind of goes backwards, kind of curves backwards from the other two. See that? So this one curves this way, kind of there. But this one curves that way, and this one curves that way. All right, so now let's label it. All right, I don't want to use X and Y, I already use P and Q, so we'll use something a little bit different. How about like J and K? All right, so here we go. J, don't use this way out here. Remember, that's where 2Y and we came back X. Okay, so that Y is really all of that, and X is this part right here. Okay, does that make sense? So JK equals 2Y minus X. That's it, that's our first one. Okay, we're gonna have a couple more of these videos, but that's your first compass construction, how to copy a segment, all right? Get ready for the next one here in a second.